Farad Arshad, CTO of Starsplay, thank you for joining us here at Economy Least. Thanks for having me. Well, let's start by asking you, how is Starsplay leveraging data analytics and artificial intelligence to personalize content recommendations and improve its understanding of customer preferences? Great. So it's a very good question. Uh, look, for any OTT customer service provider, the first thing is to, you know, acquire the customer. But once the customer gets acquired, all you're collecting is data and events and the behavior of a customer. What is the pattern of a customer and, you know, what he wants to watch, what kind of content he's clicking in and these kind of things. So once you have all these data in place, the next immediate step is to increase the engagement. And when it comes to engagement, you need to, you need to have a hyper personalizer, which can keep on personalizing you on each and every click. Keep in, you know, uh, giving you personalization when you're watching something and you're coming back or when you're planning on an app and thinking about it. So we should know what you're thinking ahead of time. And that's exactly where data plays a key role. And that's where the hyper personalization kind of algos that we have built inside house. They're helping us getting, getting those kind of personalizations and recommendations in place. And trust me, once you, once you, once you immediately engage on these kind of things, you will see a completely different behavior of a customer, a different pattern of a, of a user. And I mean, like ourselves, I mean, when the moment we brought a personalizer in, we have seen a completely different shift. It doesn't matter you, whether you are behind the paywall or if you are watching a free content, the consumption gifts are almost, almost similar. So that's the power of AI. And just to kind of follow up on that question, do you have KPIs for each customer? How long should they be engaging with your platform? Yep, absolutely. So <clears throat> our earlier uh, consumption driven that we were carrying internally was more about uh, two and a half hour a day with personalization in place. We have completely changed the shift in the watch time, which has grown from two and a half hours to almost 4.30, 4.5. Some users are even watching six hours. So that gives you the obsession of uh, engagement and you can see clearly the shift is there. And the, it's a very uh, competitive landscape within the streaming platforms. How has Stars Play leveraged Huawei Cloud to differentiate itself and deliver high quality user experience? And can you share some specific examples how this contribution has, uh, you know, flourished with it? Yeah. So for us, uh, when we were moving towards something what we had been using earlier was not just moving our traditional workloads. We were looking for someone who can get us the right engine in place while transforming everything, whether it's consumption, whether it's uh, scaling, whether it's the new technologies that we want to work on. So that was the whole criteria. And fortunately, Huawei kind of, uh, you know, got all of the checkboxes ticked. And uh, we've seen the results after that. So first, immediate shift was towards, you know, moving our compute workloads intense compute workloads towards Huawei. Right after that, we went towards content delivery management, which is CDN. So combining these two, we were able to see that how fast Huawei can adopt the, these kind of traffic patterns and extreme traffic patterns because we are serving sports. So you know what I, how, what happens the moment a match starts, right? And that's where they, they were able to qualify. Right after that, the next shift was towards how, let's start transforming our workloads towards AI machine learning capabilities that Huawei is getting. Whether it's content localization, which is come, which comes through captioning, auto captioning, pro subtitling, and then also use these kind of things towards hyper personalization, and then the same tech stack towards other LLM projects that we are carrying in. So right now we are working on uh, transforming our search, which is a big one towards LLM. No one has done it. And uh, that's one of the big things that we are working on at the moment. And hopefully within the next few months, you will see a completely AI driven search. And that's another big one that we are launching soon. What are Stars Play's key priorities and growth plans for the future? And how does your collaboration with Huawei Cloud align with those objectives? Yes. So once we have, you know, <clears throat> marked the basics, fundamentals that we wanted to achieve, the next step is towards growth and the, how can we help getting ourselves towards one engagement growth as well as revenue growth. So see the dynamics have been changed, right? Traditional approaches in the OTD business are not going to work. 
you have to have machines to your job or do your workflows and that's where uh, the, our whole focus is towards automate everything bring down our in-house pnl uh, cost and just transform and automate everything what we have in, in terms of pss or oss and that's going to give us a better opportunity towards achieving towards a better revenue growth and this is the whole focus right now within the organization wherever we can bring machine learning now it's mature let's try to bring them in and let's see what we can do to help optimizing each and every process that we have been working with since last nine or eight years further thank you for your insights and thank you for joining us here at economy thanks for having